uh, we start school year to school years. So after July, uh, to this year, after July 29th, um, our program was actually finished. So now we're into summer. So now it's a summer summer camp program. And in September, starting September 4th, the kids will come back to school. They'll be in their uniforms. And these are the uniforms that they actually wear. So the girls will wear the, uh, the, little, the little dress and t-shirt or long sleeve underneath. And uh, they'll have, and the boys will have the vest and the little polo shirts underneath, or they'll have the long sleeve or the cardigan with the gray pants. And Very that's, nice. That's the colors that we uh, use inside of the daycare. Very sharp. Welcome to the DO Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Akposio, and thanks for tuning in to another episode. Today we're at the McLean's Learning Academy started by none other than Troy Ross, a uh, two-time Olympian professional fighter, and uh, Allison McLean, and it's in Brampton, located at? 15 Ashby Field, Unit 1, 2, 3, and 4, so going to Unit 1. And it's, uh, it's massive, um, it's been here since 2014, and we're going to be talking about Troy, and he's going to let us know um, what he's been up to, and what's happening with the Montessori school and how you can actually bring your kids here if you want to. Hey Damien, uh, thanks for doing this today. Um, you know what, I started the McLean's Learning Academy along with my wife, um, Allison McLean, um, basically to give kids uh, a fresh start, uh, a new start, and a first beginning start anyway. and. Um, Right now, um, the school is going great. We have lots of kids. We're in the summer right now, and uh, it's it's just been great for us. Now, what we do here is actually we start by educating our kids. Uh, they start at an early age. Like I said, uh, our program runs from zero. We start them at six months up until six years old. Um, the way the Montessori works is that it's hands-on. It's practical. Well, definitely, McLean's Learning Academy is it's it's a family setting. It's uh, what, what the way we designed it is it's a way it's a home away from home, and that's what we that's what we wanted it to be. Uh, we went to Europe and we were there for a long time, and we pretty much studied how they had their curriculum with the kids. They had outdoor play, and that's what we brought back. Um, we there was more a Reggio Montessori uh, atmosphere, and the way the kids learn is just more practical life, and that's what we wanted to bring here in our daycare. is more practical, more nature based, and so the kids can have a fun learning set, uh, learning environment where they feel free and they're comfortable and they enjoy the fact of learning. Well, I'm definitely still involved with the boxing. Um, I haven't been in the ring since 2012 after my um, not my, my fight that I won against uh, Pablo Hernandez, but unfortunately the uh, judges didn't, didn't see it that way. They didn't give me the, uh, the points, but we all know what happened. I won the fight, but I just didn't get the decision. Now I have not been in the ring since since then because um, pretty much I've just been I, 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 I took some time away from boxing and this is what happened I ended up starting a Montessori school where my wife and I we were both looking for uh, to start something we already had the daycare started we not run run the daycare the Montessori school so that's what we continue doing and it's uh, ever since then it's been beautiful it, it, it's, it's been able to work for us and uh, we enjoy it each and every day. So thanks, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, you can ask us any question on boxing by sending us a message through Twitter at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O -O, or through email, akposio at hotmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and tuning into this episode, and we'll catch you on the next one.